advising is an opportunity for a student to really to really look at all the options. It's so critical for a student to have a, a major that is a good match for them. So sometimes a student will make a decision about a major during the application process and by the time that they step onto the, the University of Southern Maine soil for the first time, they're not really quite sure if that's the major for them. When I came to University of Southern Maine, I transferred from a larger school and in that school there wasn't much of an academic advising experience. Um, you're left on your own kind of following your own direction. The advising experience at USM for me has changed me in a way that I've become much more confident in what I want as a student. Um, I choose what I want to do, um, what classes I want to take, what goals I'm setting for myself, what job I want to have when I graduate, um, where I want to take my life, and what I want to do with it. Advising can help students make that, that decision and confirm that decision. So it really is creating um, a conversation, a conversation about opportunities, a conversation about the student, and a com conversation about their future. When discussing what major I had wanted to switch to, um, we were talking about um, different counseling options and she thought that social behavior sciences was something I should look into and that night was actually a meeting for social behavior sciences and she says hey you know you should take a take advantage of this meeting and let's go to it she had the papers had the paperwork had the all the information all the facts all the tools I needed to go look into social behavior sciences um, eventually after the meeting it definitely led me into thinking that this was for me and that um, I had all the tools to go ahead and get started with it. A week later, I was talking to an internship advisor, speaking about all the different ways I can go about talking to people. Um, you know, maybe I want to work with younger kids, maybe I want to work with older kids. And she told me, you know, get your foot in the door with the younger ones and then go about with the older ones. Um, she encouraged me to make myself uncomfortable, in a good way, obviously. Um, she wants me to go out there and try things that I wasn't gonna try before. So in your junior year, you are handed off to a faculty advisor from a professional advisor. And one of the reasons we make this transition to the faculty advising model is your faculty advisor can help you really get focused on your career path. So this is when you tend to be studying the advanced courses in your education. You're starting to think about what you'd like to do after you graduate. Uh, that may be additional education through graduate studies or it may be getting a job. Your faculty advisor really can help mentor you through that process. The other thing is your faculty advisor has a unique opportunity to get you more connected to the community. So for example, in the School of Business, as part of the research I do, I maintain a very active list of business contacts. And it's a great opportunity for me to identify in a student's junior and senior year, who are the people in the local business community that he or she should be meeting so that they have some of those connections after they graduate. You know what I would say to new students? Do not be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to even see your advisor. They want to help you. Don't be afraid if you don't like your major. They want to help you find a new one. Um, don't be afraid to take those you know, new classes that might be a little difficult. They're here to help you. They want to help you get through those classes. They want to see you um, achieve. They want to see you accelerate. They want to see you do really great things. 